This video explores silicoplan, a new treatment for myasthenia gravis, an autoimmune disease that weakens muscles. First and foremost, what exactly is myasthenia gravis? Normally, nerves send signals to muscles via acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that binds to receptors at the neuromuscular junction, triggering muscle contraction. In myasthenia gravis, the communication gets messed up. The immune system creates antibodies that block these receptors, thus weakening nerve muscle communication. In addition, the antibodies also reduce receptor density because of cross-linking and subsequent receptor endocytosis, which further lowers signaling capacity. Furthermore, the antibodies activate a part of the immune system, called the complement system. This leads to formation of a membrane attack complex, or MAC, that damages the muscle membrane and its components. The combined effects of these attacks ultimately impaired neuromuscular signal transmission leading to muscle weakness. Symptoms of myasthenia gravis can be debilitating. They include double vision, drooping eyelids, difficulty swallowing and speaking, and potentially life-threatening respiratory muscle weakness. The severity and frequency of symptoms can significantly impact daily lives. In October 2023, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved Silicoplan, under the brand name Zilbrisk, for treatment of adults with antiacetylcholine receptor, antibody-positive, generalized myasthenia gravis. Zilicoplan is supplied in single-dose pre-filled syringes and is administered once daily as a subcutaneous injection. This groundbreaking medication works differently from traditional myasthenia gravis treatments that focus on boosting nerves muscle signals. Zilicoplan tackles the problem at its roots, the complement system. When the immune system malfunctions in myasthenia gravis, the complement system becomes overactive, contributing to the attacks on neuromuscular junction receptors. Zilicoplan steps in, blocking a key protein, called C5, within the complement system. By inhibiting C5, Zilicoplan prevents this system's activation, reducing inflammation and further destruction of receptors at the neuromuscular junction. This helps improve muscle strength and reduce symptoms. But how effective is it? A large clinical trial called RAYS investigated Zilicoplan's safety and efficacy. The study compared zilicoplan to a placebo in adults with antiacetylcholine receptor-positive generalized myasthenia gravis. Patients were randomized to receive daily subcutaneous injections of 0.3 mg per kg zilicoplan, or placebo for 12 weeks. The primary measure was the change in the myasthenia gravis activities of daily living, or MGADL score. This is a way to measure how much myasthenia gravis affects someone's daily life. Imagine it like a yardstick for MG severity. After 12 weeks, the results were encouraging. Compared to placebo, Zilicoplan patients showed a greater reduction in MGADL scores. These improvements were seen as early as one week and continued throughout the study. By week 12, Zilicoplan led to a four point improvement in the ability to manage daily activities. The least square mean difference between zilicoplan and placebo was minus 2.09. This means their daily activities, such as swallowing, dressing, and climbing stairs, became easier. Additionally, zilicoplan seemed to be well tolerated, with common side effects like injection site reactions, upper respiratory tract infections, and diarrhea. While zilicoplan shows promise, it's important to remember that this is a new treatment. More research is needed to understand its long-term effects and potential adverse reactions. And that's it for today's pharmacology video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more pharmacology content.